So you want to play Tekker, huh? Well, let me tell you about this class. Tekker is a wonderful world of wand-wielding destruction, where you stare down your foes before unleashing your photonic fury. Tekkers give us the ability to band together with the power of friendship and disgustingly good buffs. So now that you have a general idea of this class, let's go and break it down. Tekker has access to a unique weapon called Wand. Wand allows you to use all techniques, but more importantly has some unique mechanics as well. By charging any elemental tech, you will imbue your wand with the element, allowing you to score elemental downs and weakness multipliers. The weapon action on wand is a very lenient parry that causes photonic fury on a successful parry. Wand features two very interesting photon arts. First, we have Swift Smash. This is a chargeable gap closer which deals a surprisingly decent chunk of damage when fully charged. Next, we have Wave Crash, which has you smash your wand into the ground twice, dealing damage in a large AoE around you. This move is also very helpful for dealing consistent damage on Tekker itself. Next, we have Tekker's secondary weapon called Talus. Talus provides a class with a long-range option to deal with enemies beyond your reach. The weapon action on Talus when standing still is a turret that attacks multiple enemies. When you perform the Talus weapon action with a movement input, the turret changes into a single target turret instead. Talus's two photon arts are as follows. First, we have Convergent Shot. This changes any tech casted into an elemental bullet that is spammable. These do not trigger Barter Blot nor Zombie Clad. Talus's AoE photon art is called Spread Shot. This move, when interrupted midway through its cast, changes techniques into a triple shot in front of you. When you fully play out the animation for Spread Shot, however, the techs casted are changed into a circular AoE centered around your character. And just like Convergent Shot, this does not trigger Barter Blot nor Zombie Clad. Also, just as a reminder, on top of these two weapons, Tekker does have access to all techniques currently in the game. Now that you have a general overview of the weapons, let's go on to the skill point distribution for Tekker. This is where it gets a little bit more complicated, so let me give you a general build first that I recommend based on Wand and Talos gameplay. We currently have 20 points of SP, so I would recommend to put 1 point into everything, 0 points into Bardablot and Zombie Clad, and 0 points into Reverse Bounty. Extra points should be allocated towards Weak Element Amplifier and Awake Ale. Reverse Bounty is left at 0 because we can easily just recast Shift and D-Band if someone dies. Bardablot and Zombie Clad are at 0 is actually a choice which I will explain right now. So this is where it gets slightly complicated. If you plan a subclass force specifically on Tekker, all Talus skills, Rest of Field, Barda Blot, and Zombie Clad skills are shared between the two classes. This means you could choose between the two which skill tree will have the shared skills and which will not. This frees up some SP to use however you please on the class that did not take the shared skills. Now let's move on to active skills you should know about for Tekker. Shifta and Dban is the bread and butter, the filet mignon, the creme de la creme of Tekker. This is the most invaluable and strongest active skill in the game. Shifta and Dban gives you and your teammates a potency boost, a downed attack boost, a downed factor damage boost, and on top of this, 120% more PP recovery and 10% more damage resistance. This alone makes Tekker extremely worth it to play whether it's solo or in a party. Also, you only have to recast this every 3 minutes if you have the extension skill, and it only has a 15 second cooldown. Next, we have a wand specific skill called Wand Lovers. Wand Lovers lasts for 30 seconds with a 90 second cooldown. This skill gives you attack deflections to your normal attacks along with the ability to not be launched or knocked back. To summarize, this skill is basically Hunter's Physique with half the cooldown and no damage resistance on top of it. And finally, we have Tricky Capacitor. This is a Talus exclusive active skill that builds up with Talus attacks. This launches a long range attack, which does a moderately sized amount of damage, but also regenerates your PP. So now, let's move on to my thoughts and theory crafting for the class. Tekker is by far one of the most essential classes in the game. Shifta and D-Band alone make Tekker a great pick no matter the situation. With the addition of the down state for enemies in PSO2, Tekker helps accelerate getting to those amazing DPS burst phases. 
Wand on Tekker provides an amazing close range option that never stops being satisfying. Swift Smash allows you to close the distance fast, while Wave Crash gives you both good single target and AoE damage as well. On top of these great Photon Arts, Wand when you charge it with an element has the ability to cause elemental downs and sass effects nearby enemies. On the Talus side, this gives Tekker its long range option along with an alternative to Wand's gameplay. Convergent Shot and Spread Shot along with the weapon action provides a steady stream of damage from any range. The only real con to Tekker is that Shifta and D-Band can be applied by any Tekker and it does not stack at all. This means in a party with multiple Tekkers, you'll only realistically need one person to cast Shift and D-Band. However, I do not think anyone would complain since some Tekkers is better than no Tekkers in a party. Now, onto gameplay recommendations for Tekker, Swift Smash to close the distance and Wave Crash for most of your DPS needs. Always make sure your element charged to your wand is what your target is weak to. Usually during AoE mobbing, I have it set to Ice to deal with bellies. Also, the weapon action on Wand is a very generous parry which should be used to keep DPS uptime. On Talus, Convergent Shot is your go-to for single target damage while Spread Shot is your AoE. Use Tricky Capacitor on cooldown as it does come back really fast. For Shifta and D-Band usage, pop it as soon as possible and you can pretty much press it whenever you feel like as it lasts a ridiculously long time. For wand lovers, I use it for any time I need super armor, but also be aware it does have a very short cooldown, so use it as much as you want. Now, for subclass recommendations, these are all of course personal preference, so choose the one that best fits your playstyle. Personally for me, I use force for better PP management, and it also allows me some more build freedom from the shared class skills. Comment down below your subclass choice and how you're getting the most out of it, because I love seeing your different combinations. So in summary, Tekker is an invaluable addition to any team, a support god who heavily buffs everyone with Shifta and D-Ban. With Wand, you are given access to great close range damage, a very lenient parry, and the ability to give elemental downs on bonks by charging a tech to your wand. Talus gives Tekker your long-range option, along with providing a different type of playstyle compared to Wand. Shifta and D-Band should be up nearly 24-7 due to the long duration but short cooldown they have. For subclass choices, if you choose four specifically, you may want to look into how your SP is distributed due to the shared class skills. Overall, you will not go wrong by picking Tekker as you will always be wanted in a party due to how amazing Shifta and D-Band are. And that pretty much concludes the Tekker guide. If you have any questions or you want to share some cool Tekker tech you've discovered, comment down below. I'll try my best to reply to you and answer any questions you might have on Tekker. And for those of you who main Tekker, I would love to know what secret knowledge and tips you have for the class that everyone should know about. Anyways, thank you all for watching and I really appreciate every single one of you. I hope you're all having a great time in New Genesis and a great day in general. Also, this now concludes my basic overview of all the classes now, so make sure you stay tuned as I'll now be moving onto a new series, along with some more in-depth specifics about New Genesis. I hope you'll all enjoy the adventure we'll be having in New Genesis together. Also, if you want to see updates, follow me at EveryDairy on Twitter. I also stream on twitch.tv slash everydairy two days a week, so I'll announce when I stream on there as well. Thank you so much everyone for the support you've given this channel. This is Casual Gamer Corvus from Everydairy, and I'll see you Saturday with the start of a new adventure.